What up everybody, Ray here. Welcome to my channel. Today, we got comic block. I was actually gonna cancel that when I forgot to. It's kind of one of those that really isn't much value. It's, if you like to do a lot of uh, individual issues and not really start a series or anything, just get new issues that maybe catches your attention or something, or maybe it's a series you wanted or something, this is probably a good box for you. So, that being said, let's roll into this bad boy. First thing you get, the shirt. They've done a couple of cool shirts lately, like the Spider Gwen one. And then they got this one. Which is Batgirl saying, I got this. And then she's kind of in the, the shape of the old, uh, um, what was she called? Uh, from World War II, like the, um, oh, I forget what her name was, like Rivet Annie or something like that. I can't remember. But she always, she had the bandana on, t-shirt and muscle and stuff, so. And it says, Gotham City Protection Coordinating Committee. So, that's kind of cool. I do gotta say, I like their shirts lately. They're from Shirt Punch, of course, because it's Nerd Block Company. But, the Spider-Man one was cool, and this one's pretty cool. So, I like that. And they always send you some little trinket. A little toy or something. Or a little, I should say toy, like keychain or pendant or something like that. And this time it's a keychain with Thor's hammer. And it comes from Penny Royal Studios, which is a, a custom-made jewelry company. And they made a couple of things, like there was a Zelda shield and stuff like that for these guys. Uh, the only, uh, it's nickel-plated zinc, but it's, uh, the bad thing is there's no writing on it. And if you look and find these out there, these little keychains are uh, Thor's hammer, they have writing on them. So that makes them cool. This one has no writing on it at all, if I remember right, on either side, yeah, it's just a heavy zinc keychain, so that's usually what they send, and then you get the comics, so you usually get about three comics, roughly, right around there, um, so let's start out with something that Nerd Block does, and I really hate it when they do this, is they, um, I don't know if they have like extras left over or something, but they always take something from a different one of their groupings, where the Nerd Block Classic, Arcade, um, Horror, whatever, and they'll put it into a different box. And like this Star Wars right here from Fan Expo, I already got this a couple months ago from, I want to say Nerd Block, was it? And so they send you the same thing again. So I kind of hate when they do that. It's just kind of like, hey, look, instead of three be three comics, we sent you four. Yeah, but you sent me something that I already got from your other company, which, you know, you want me to go in all your companies. Quit mixing stuff from one company to the next company. Your companies are independent. shouldn't have to do that. So I, I mean, you can put this into a, a box that's like, uh, clearance clear out box or something like that you know like they've done before with the pops but this kind of irritates me when I see this you know they're just cleaning out the inventory garbage instead of giving me something good and original so in the other ones uh, you got Pacific Rim Tales from the Drift number one with the comic variant cover on it of course uh, movie wasn't bad from what I understand they're doing another one so that should be interesting maybe this is a precursor for that not sure it's not really something I'd be interested in reading I don't think many people would be and then you got Howard the Duck but this is I was looking at this usually when you get a comic it's got the nerd black variant cover but this one doesn't. It's just number one Howard the Duck. It's got Gwenpool in it. It's got Spider-Man in it to try and bump up its sales. And digital edition 
Oh, oh it's got uh, Jessica Jones Netflix tie-in. That's why it's there. Because of that. To kind of pimp that out. Which, from what I understand, I haven't watched it. But from what I understand, there's more sex than there is action in it. So it's boring. I haven't watched it, though. So that's just what I've heard. And then, the fourth one, usually they just give you those three. Those two and this one. That extra one was just a waste an inventory thing out. But this one looks pretty cool. This is Star Wars Vader Down, number one, variant cover. Now this sounds like a cool series to me. Because basically what happens, from what I understand, is Vader gets shot down on some world by himself. And um, the, or the Alliance sends all they got after him try and get him while the Empire is trying to save him so it sounds pretty cool I'll have to check it out but uh, this was one that they were advertising so that is everything you get in it as always comic block is kind of one of those really specific blocks that if you like a bunch of um, you want to see new titles and try and get the ones for them and maybe that will push you to buying the series but you're not going to get a series on these. They're all number ones. They're all going to be new comics or um, comics that kind of push like TV shows, movies, so on that's coming out. So, Although I do think this one's pretty cool. But this is because, you know, Star Wars. December. So, and I think that's why they, they dumped this one in here as inventory and it's Star Wars. So they figured everybody wanted. So that being said, let's roll through the prices. So since you've got all these... I mean, this one here has got like $5 on it. The Vader Down one, variant cover. Uh, a lot of times in the variant covers, they don't have prices on them. Howard the Duck's got $5 on it. And I would say just because they're variant covers, usually comics for 4 bucks now, which is insane. I just, still seems weird to me to be paying $4 for a comic. It's actually thinner a lot of the times than the old comics that used to cost you like a buck or less in my day, in the old man day. So, but you go five dollars on all four of them, so that's like twenty bucks right there. Uh, variant covers because it's, it's so common to have variant covers now. Everybody's got a variant cover of everything, so they're they're not really limited. And there's so many of them out there that you know the price of them isn't really going to go up that much. I mean, if they do do a Pacific Rim. Tales from the Drift, and they do a movie on it. This might go up a little bit at that time. Um, right now, the Star Wars comics might be up for the movie. Uh, Howard the Duck is probably not going to happen. Unless they make a movie of Howard the Duck, and I don't think they will. So, you got about 20 bucks there. The keychain, key chain, about 6 bucks. And the shirt is always good, bad, ugly, $12. So the cost on the block itself is about 22 bucks with shipping. Um, the total for all the stuff is about $38, roughly. You know, give or take, depending on the comics. Um, and like I say, shirts on my own. So you're getting more than you pay for, but when it comes to this, I mean, nerd block is always up there. Like I say, with the comic blocks, they can't make it, but usually like the horror block the nerd or the cla the classic the horror block arcade block you know those ones are all value of 50 bucks usually it hangs right into comic block isn't going to be like that if it wasn't for one more comic that would have been five bucks less you've been at 30 bucks roughly excuse me for all those so it's it's really difficult unless they start doing like graphic novels in it which are worth more money than you run on a ten dollar piece on those but they're probably not going to do that. So Comic Block is really specific. I don't know how long this one would last, to be honest with you. Because, like I say, it's extremely specific and it's really hard to get your value out of it. It's basically if you like what's in there, you know. And, I mean, the Vader one was pretty cool. I like that one. The shirts are always pretty cool, even though they're going from Shirt Punch. And a lot of times they get kind of crappy shirts, but... I think they're cool. The last, the Spider Gwen one was cool. This one is cool because I like Batgirl. So it's a matter of preference when it comes to comic block. You get to values. Your value is going to be there, but it's really going to be tight. But it's going to be a matter of what do you like in these comics. So let me know what you thought. 
if you like this box or if it's something you thought about, like I say, I don't know how long they're going to push this one because I don't know if they're going to be making enough money on it unless they can get these comics for really cheap and don't worry about the, the pressure. Um, I don't know what's going to be the next one because I didn't put anything in here for it. They just put one of their pimp stuff for a shirt punch, which is their original company they started out with, I believe, if I remember right. And sometimes they got cool stuff. You know, they do uh, new sh three new shirts every 24 hours. So if you want, check them out. I'll put it down there. Um, and as always, I'll put all this down there. So leave me some comments, tell me what you thought. Like, unlike, and subscribe. See what we got coming up next. Till next time, thanks.